Cannabis, also known as marijuana, is by far the most widely used recreational drug in the world and is popular among teens. In fact, as many as one-third of Canadian youth have used cannabis before the age of 15. Cannabis is a plant. It's natural. And now it's legal in Canada. But does that mean it's safe? Let's talk about that. First, cannabis can make you high, just like alcohol can make you drunk. This means that you can't think or function as well as you could if you weren't using cannabis. This can be dangerous because you might do things while high that you wouldn't normally do if you were sober, like driving while high or sending risky texts. Did you know that driving while high doubles the risk of being in a car accident? There are also some harmful effects of regular cannabis use. It can affect your body, leading to unhealthy eating habits, breathing problems, and difficulty sleeping. It can also affect your mind because your brain continues to grow until the age of 25. Regular cannabis use before this age can make it hard to learn or to make important decisions. Heavy use has been linked to doing worse in school, having a lower IQ, and makes it more likely that you won't finish high school. Regular cannabis use is also linked with depression and anxiety. Some people may also see or hear things that aren't real when they're high. This is called psychosis. Research actually tells us that teens who use lots of cannabis regularly are more likely to develop schizophrenia than other teens. So basically this means that you can develop a lifelong illness involving psychosis if you use too much cannabis. Also, one in six teens will go on to develop cannabis use disorder. This happens when heavy cannabis use gets in the way of your day-to-day life, causing problems with school, family, and friends. You may notice that you have cravings, that you need more cannabis to get high, or you're spending most of your time trying to get high. When you stop using cannabis, you may have withdrawal symptoms like difficulty sleeping, headaches, and vomiting. If any of these apply to you, your cannabis use may already be a problem. Okay, so enough of the scary stuff. We get it. You might still decide to dabble with cannabis. So let's talk about seven simple ways to be safe when it comes to cannabis use. Number one, if you haven't tried cannabis yet, Avoiding it altogether is the best option. However, if you decide to give it a try, the older you are, the less it will affect your developing brain. Number two, if you're gonna use cannabis, limit your use as much as possible. The less you use, the less likely you are to develop all the problems that are linked to cannabis. Number three, it's okay to be picky about what cannabis products you use. THC is the ingredient in cannabis that makes you high, and some products have more THC than others. THC content can be found on product labels when cannabis is purchased from a store. Try to choose products that have the lowest THC content, as these are generally considered safer. Number four, try to obtain cannabis from a reliable source and don't use it while you're alone. If you don't know where it's from, you don't know what's in it. Number five, think about the way that you use cannabis. Smoking cannabis, especially if you inhale deeply and hold your breath, can be hard on your lungs. While edibles carry their own risks, they are less harmful to your lungs than smoking. Number six, drinking and driving isn't cool and neither is driving while high. Never ever drive after using cannabis or get into a vehicle with a driver who has been using. Number seven, if you or someone in your family has struggled with mental illness or addiction, it's best to avoid using cannabis altogether to reduce the risk of developing lifelong mental illnesses like schizophrenia. And don't forget, the best person to talk to about this is your doctor. They aren't going to tell your parents, and in fact, they legally can't without your permission. What they can do is offer you education and strategies to make sure you're using cannabis safely. They can answer questions or help you quit if that's what you want. Always remember, just because it's legal doesn't mean it's safe.